Yo, what is up, legends? So I'm really excited for this video here um, because I'm doing a bit of a project here for myself. Uh, I want to see uh, exactly how well my strategies actually work. Um, and so what, what I want to do is basically start with a new LinkedIn straight from scratch, um, meaning I completely set it up with a new email and all that stuff. And I'm going to basically try to set some meetings for myself as fast as possible. And I want to document the whole process so you guys can follow along as well and basically get this started with me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let me just open this up. So what you see here is basically like a blank profile. So all I've done so far is put in my cover photo and then I also put in my headshot. So what I'm going to go through is kind of show you guys what I go through when, uh, you know, whenever someone asks me about LinkedIn or whenever I'm setting this up, what I go through and what process I go through to, to make sure that this profile is optimized and actually set up for success when you actually reach out. And ideally, sometimes what happens is if you set it up right, you'll actually have people in your niche reaching out to you first. And those are the, the highest quality leads that you could possibly have. So. I'm gonna basically run through it with you guys real quickly here. So the first thing before anything is you must have a niche, all right? So you must already have like a niche that you're going after. Uh, this will not work if you're going just after general business owners. So if you're someone who's putting, you know, I help businesses get 30, you know, leads every month with consistency and like that's not gonna work here. So what you need is a niche you need to one have a niche understand what they want and uh what their problems are and so that's real simple uh if you're already in the niche you've already had some conversations and you already have already noticed that more than likely all of them are you, you kind of start to see a pattern meaning that as you talk to more and more business owners in that niche they all you'll realize they all want the same thing and so it's very specific to that niche. So when you have a niche, you're gonna basically use that information for what I'm about to show you here. So the first section here is really just having an optimized profile headshot. So all this means is just have a, a professional headshot, you know, something that, that looks good. And uh, it basically like just looks decent, you know. Uh, in this one, it was taken outdoors um, and it's, I have a dress shirt on, got my smile on, got a haircut, all that kind of stuff. And uh, usually what I do is just kind of, you know, to grab attention and, and get it to, to look nice and more professional and to make it stand out is I just add like a circle. And all I did was use Canva and just create a circle template around that photo there. And then what I did next is I went on Fiverr. So just use this website here. Um, if you guys already use this before, then you already know what it's all about. If you haven't, Fiverr is basically uh, a website where you can get a lot of things for just five dollars. So, um, what I did is I paid a little bit more than five bucks, but uh, I got this amazing looking uh, cover photo. It did kind of cut off, so I, I am gonna have to fix that. Um, it works well on my Facebook uh, cover photo. I, I just have to trim it down and adjust it so it fits fits on uh, on LinkedIn so that's what it looks like there and yeah uh, what I would do if I were you is I would just pay someone five bucks and make sure they have something really clean and real professional looking uh, I would not try to do it yourself um, you can I mean you could go on Canva and just create something that says you know I help niche get desired result which I'll go over in just a second right here um, but yeah, for the co cover photo, you can use Canva. That's a free software, or you can use Fiverr. I highly recommend use Fiverr, uh, just so that you know everything looks crisp and clean and professional. So I'm gonna go into the about section here. So for the headline, uh, I'm basically going to tailor this to my niche. So if you are going after, no matter which niche you go after you're gonna have the same kind of framework when you get this so what i usually do is you can stick to this right here so i help niche get 
desired result. Using, and then you can say your proprietary process. So something like this, what this would look like in real time is helping mortgage originators get two to five pre-approvals using the PLA method. Great, so that's mine there. I would highly recommend not doing this if you cannot provide results for mortgage brokers. So do not try to use that one. Be creative, uh, you know, just take your own spin on things. Um, really try to, to really infuse more of who you are and what, what your system is all about into this right here. If you don't have one, um, this goes into another video. I would highly suggest <laughs> either partnering with someone who's really good at fulfillment or paying someone to show you how they're getting the results. But again, that's something for another video. And then here what I have, so usually for the title, uh, I try to use every single section of this as, as a sales letter, as basically a, a way to, to show more social proof, so show more authority, and tell them more about what it is that I do exactly. So as I'm going through this, uh, you can do this for your own thing as well. I mean, you can simply set up a, a company page. It's very simple to do, it takes only a couple seconds. It looks that much more cleaner. If you don't have one, you don't need to uh, do what I'm doing here. Typically, I like to make this everything very niche specific. I don't like to have anything that is just generic, like uh, lead generator or Facebook ads guru or something. That's, those are just examples. Um, what I like to do is basically have something that is very, very niche specific. And so for the description, I'll be copying and pasting something that I'm, I'm gonna be creating for this. But typically what I like to follow is simple copywriting principles. So whenever you write any sort of copy or anything like that, you wanna follow this framework. So the first part is the hook. So you wanna get the hook and get their attention. If you were going after realtors, you'd be like having trouble selling or listing properties or having trouble finding sellers in your area, um, whatever their problem is, you should know your niche. Um, if you don't, I would highly recommend getting on forums, actually talking to people in your niche, and you'll find this very, very easily. Um, and then aggravating their problem. So basically asking more questions and also showing a bit of social proof. If you're like most clients, if you're like most of my clients, you also struggle with X, X, and X. So that's the problem. You highlight it, you aggravate it so that a, they know that you're an authority in your field, and B, um, you're basically getting them more invested. They keep reading what you're showing them here, and then the solution. So you basically tell them a brief level overview of what it is that you do. So, uh, you know, the, the big promise, and then also the proprietary process. So how it actually works. Like, the first step is we get you in front of your ideal client. Second is step is we qualify them. Third step is we follow up with them. Whatever your solution might be, you put it on here. Now, for the last part here is your CTA, your call to action. And so typically what I like to do is just in this link section is basically have my Calendly link on here. And you do actually get people that book a time, especially if you have really good copy that speaks to them, they will book a time. So let me just,
yeah, like I said, so they will book a time. I already put this in, so here's what it looks like here. Uh, for the actual title here, I don't think it's saved, but you want to stay away from Facebook. Uh, you want to stay away from anything that might give them assumptions about what it is that you do, because remember at the end of the day, what business owners want is they want the hole and not the drill. Remember that. So even though Facebook ads really is a, a great and profitable way for someone to see amazing results and, and grow their business, um, there's already like presuppositions about what Facebook ads is and what it isn't. So I would highly recommend not using those keywords there. Um, another one is like leads as well. Uh, that one is also kind of a hot button. So I would use those very, very carefully whenever you, you reach out to, to business owners or even in your copy inside of your thing. So inside of your profile. So just again, to recap, when you're optimizing your profile, you want to have a great headshot. You want to have a great headline. This one changes up for me, where you highlight who your niche is and you highlight what their specific desired result is. So, I'm just inputting mine in right here. Sorry guys, this is live, so th I, I didn't pre-plan this or anything like that. I'm, I'm literally building out <laughs> the LinkedIn profile with you guys here. So the headshot, professional cover photos just so you're, that you're an authority in your field, you're an expert. Um, it just looks a lot better as compared to just having something blank there. And then having a really good niche specific headline like I'm showing you here. And then the next part is the about section, which I kind of covered. Use those four principles of copywriting and you will get people contacting you first. That is really how you do it. Um, that and your headline. The headline is going to get people to watch, to go through and stock your profile. And then the about section, uh, the summary section is what's going to get them to reach out to you first or even better yet, which is really the highest quality lead you can have on LinkedIn is them either calling or better yet, sending an appointment with you. So just having that there and then having the link uh, at the bottom of the uh, of the about section there, which I mentioned, use a Calendly link, which is going to be your best bet for that. And then those are really the top, what I've noticed are the top things that you'll need um, to actually start getting results. The rest is, is really just not really needed because really these are the things that people look through keep in mind they're not going to be uh, on your profile for minutes on and hours on end um so there's only certain key things that people look at all right so you want to make sure that those are on point so that you get the best the best results possible because number 20 percent of your 80 percent of your efforts uh, of your results come from 20 percent of your efforts so 80 percent of your results come from 20% of your efforts. So th this is the 20% here. The headshot, the cover photo, the optimized headline, uh, the about section, and the call to action, which I used as a link, the calendar link. So as long as you have that, it's pretty much optimized, all right? Um, that's the, the core of what you'll need. Um, I'll be going over in other sections, the other stuff, because it is also important. You know, it, it is good for, especially when it be seen as a, authority in your field, you will kind of need that. Um, you know, things like articles, endorsements, testimonials, all that stuff, uh, which I'll cover in another video as I go through that and, and how to get endorsements fast. I'll cover exactly how to do that. But for the meantime, this is really just how fast and simple it is to set this thing up. And in the other videos, I'll show you guys my framework on how I actually do the outreach and how I actually start getting connections real, real fast. All right. And like always, if you guys have any questions, then go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer that for you. 
um, anything regarding LinkedIn uh, outreach, LinkedIn profile optimization, anything like that, or any general questions on outreach, I'll go ahead and answer for you. Just go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you found most valuable and what you would want to know more about regarding LinkedIn and actually getting 